Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass, and I have a little bit of unfinished business to do right here. Some bouncer I turned out to be. Boozy's gonna fire me for sure. Yeah, that's right. I used to be a member of the Legato Knights. I was actually good at the job, too. But what's that? Windsor's getting the Knights back together. Heck yeah, I'm interested. Being in Legato... Those were the best days of my life. Well, I mean, there was that whole thing with the Queen. Hey, I'm pretty sure she'd forgive me for having to restrain her. You know, if she hadn't gone crazy and all that. Anyway, if Windsor wants me back, then I'm going back. I can't believe I forgot to do that <laughs> two episodes ago. So two of five Legato Knights have been found, and that's good. All right, in addition to that, I was finally able to steal, um, I was able to steal that, the doll from, uh, Pollyanna. She, um, they, all the monsters reappear in the dungeon if you enter it again. There it is, Dolly. Um, sometimes its head follows your movements. Oh god, it's actually Pollyanna, that is creepy. Fine though, whatever, I'm leaving it. <laughs> I don't know, she wasn't such a bad doll that has mind control powers, was she? I think she can chill out in my place for a little bit, at least. Meant to go to Grim Echoes. Alright, let's find out what was beyond the uh, the furnace. Okay, so yeah, last episode, um, I had a fight with Turnbuckle, who was one of, um, one of Jimmy's old toys. But then Jonathan confronted me. And let's just say that uh, Jonathan and I aren't in the same party anymore. And... It's not likely to change. Ashby's. <laughs> That's amazing. This is just the help desk, but they put an exclamation point in blood, so now it's help, which I think is cool. Also, I found a, a ruby treasure chest last time, which increases the interest in your um your bank account, and I had a decent amount in the bank account, so. The world beyond. Dreams. This seems like a good place to take a break. Would you like to go to sleep? Do you remember all of that, Jimmy? Of course you do. Because I won't let you forget. Jimmy wonders if they have an arcade. Jimmy can see the ghost of his reflection in the static. Speaking of ghosts, we're looking to get the children some new ghost clothes. Ghost school is about to start. <laughs> ghost school is super lame. I wish I were a rad ghost. If I were a rad ghost, I'd be too cool for school. But I guess that's what happens when a lame kid dies. He becomes a lame ghost. Like me. Ew, like, skin and muscles and bone are so last year. Can you believe you're filled with blood and stuff? Gross. I hear you, sister. The real question, though, is can I shake ghosts? Ghost shake it? Ew, get your gross sweaty hands off me. Ghosts don't sweat. It's like we always just got out of the shower. <laughs> Are you excited for ghost school? Oh, I bet you go to normal school. There are hardly any ghosts there at all. How boring. If I were a rad ghost, I wouldn't let you get away with bullying me. But you're not, as we established you're a lame ghost. Oh boy, an actual child. I bet you're ready for some real mischief, aren't you, young man? Let's see if we can help you out. So here I can buy Super Balls, um, Roman Candles, stun, Stuns, and has magic damage. And Smoke Bomb makes you feel like a ninja. Makes the party smoky for two turns. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's like a... Huh, I'll have to remember that. I put all my money in the bank, though, so... And Jimmy brushes some dirt off his head. That's a mirror. 
So, all right, I, I, I think this place stays open, so. Welcome to Ashby's. It's a mall for ghosts. It wasn't always, but it is now. You can still drop by here if you want, but some people find it awkward is all. Fair enough. Oh, Timothy and Miss Robin. C can I get you something, Jimmy? Um, these are new. I don't think... Oh, pulverizing light. That would be good to get. Yeah. Well, all my money's in the bank, so unless I have a bank here... <laughs> whatever. I'll come back. <laughs> There's no such thing as ghosts, right? Then why do, do, do they keep paying in ghost cash? This is my first time being in a mall. There are so many stores here. I mean, sure, a lot of them are run down. And yeah, the rest are owned and operated by ghosts, which is super spooky. They say something horrifying happened here a year ago. Still, I kind of want a savior. Maybe I can get another postcard for Mom. I make sure to send her one every stop I come to. Remember when you used to shake me around and smile? I guess things haven't changed. Oh, there's a bank. All right. <laughs> Run by a ghost. Let's see. What does the first bank of grouse say? Oh, right. Welcome to the first bank of grouse. I have 4,000. All right. Let's, uh, let's get some things. Boom. <laughs> like that interest, yo. All right. And I just deposited two once I went back to get Roland. So... I mean, I do kind of want all the... I don't need all of the items. It's dumb. Why am I being dumb? Like, it's dumb, dumb. I want, like, the rare items. I don't know if I care about those ones that give, like, nothing. But we'll get this. Uh, that pinstripe suit looks like that's good. I should probably get two. And knockoff handbag. No, I still want her to stun. I, I end up keeping that, um... That stunning item on Helga for a really long time. Eventually, they do give something that, that is better than it. But, like, not for most of the game. I like that she can stun. What can I say? Um, yeah, trade your floral dress in for a nice pinstriped suit. Because we're going to look fancy as hell. And you have a tuxedo. I don't know if we're going to look more fancy than Buck with his tuxedo. Yeah, this is better for everyone, isn't it? Ah, uh, Buck can suck it. He doesn't. <laughs> Actually, can he wear... All right. Ooh, 5% chance to evade. Okay, I remember that I evaded something and I was confused before, so that's why. And what? Oh, she doesn't even have a trinket here. Um, Might as well give her magic attack and pulverizing light, so then she'll actually have a damaging something to do <laughs> besides a regular punch. I already bought all of my... um, all of the regular items back, so that's not a problem. Hey, look, it's a rat ghost. Yo, what's up, Broham? There's a secret about rad ghosts. You've got to be a really rad dude to become a rad ghost when you die. And I'm the raddest. Dude, I just remember I got a jet. Smell you later. <laughs> Apparently, you also have to be a rad wimp. Midnight. I think I want to go here last. Sharp-dressed man. Maybe I shouldn't have bought those pinstripe suits. Specialized in ghost clothes. Maybe we can dust off some of her older clothes if we like. Oh, no. Oh, wait. These are all terrible. What is... <laughs> uh, just an old white sheet with eye holes cut out. Okay, so those are ghost clothes. I guess that makes sense. And moth-eating jacket. This jacket's seen better days. The smell keeps you up at night. Resists sleep. It is terrible. I guess if you were fighting someone who used sleep a lot, it might be okay, but... Nah, it's just another mirror. Let's go to Jimmy Classic. And we'll check out this restaurant, get some ghost food. Oh, a customer! Business has been slow lately. Ghosts tend to not be very heavy eaters. You could say it goes right through them. <laughs> Would you like a table? Yeah, let's do it. Right this way, sirs. Madam. I can't help but notice there's no chairs, but I guess ghosts float. You just gotta deal with it, you know. Welcome to midnight. 
I'll give you a moment to peruse our menu. Oh, it all looks so good. I'm going to have trouble choosing. What are you getting, Jimmy? Probably something off the kids' menu. If that's what he wants, then fine. This will be my treat, boys. You can have whatever you want. Have you made your decision? I have a question, actually. How big is the chocolate tart? It's quite large, ma'am. Perhaps you would like to share. Oh, um... That won't be necessary. I'll take the grilled salmon. But bring out the chocolate tart first. And a bottle of wine. <laughs> Excellent choice, ma'am. And for the gentleman? I'll take a T-bone. Can I substitute something for the baked potato? I don't need the carbs. Of course, sir. Would you like the house salad or one of our sides? I'll take another T-bone. Oh, uh, well, I'll see what I can do. And for you, sir. See, hamburger, chicken nugget, personal kids pizza. Um, I could go for some grilled cheese. Excellent choice, sir. I'll be back shortly with your orders. I always used to get grilled cheese at Friendly's when I went there. On Friendly's, is like there's like no Friendly's left. It was really sad. It's been so long since we've had a nice meal together as a family. I just wish Lars and your father were here. We've looked so hard for them. Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever find them. Don't worry about it, Mom. Buck? Are you trying to cheer me up? What? No. I was... <laughs> oh, you're so precious. Well, as long as I have my two boys, I'll be happy. If I were to lose one of you, I wouldn't know what to do. Here we are. For the lady, our chocolate tart, and our finest wine. Your salmon should be out shortly. For the gentleman, one teen bone steak with another D-bone steak. And for the young gentleman with the impeccable taste, our finest grilled cheese sandwich. You'll find the crusts are removed just like you like. Bon appetit. Your family stares at the plate in front of them. It becomes increasingly clear that this is not what they ordered. In fact, what is in front of you is none other than three plates of cold, thick blood. The edges of the pool of blood on each plate have begun to coagulate into a grimy skin. I'm not eating this. Come on, Buck. I know it's not what you expected, but it is ghost cooking after all. We don't want to offend them. Hmm. It's a bit... coppery. Jimmy, why don't you try some? Jimmy dips his spoon into the pool of blood. It coats the utensil like red crude oil. Jimmy's hand begins to shake as he brings it up to his mouth. The blood droplet drips off and splatters onto the tablecloth. The spoon inches towards his mouth. He gulps. His lips part. <clears throat> Are you all right, Mom? I felt something brush up against my neck. I apologize for that. The building has bad wiring. Is everything else okay? No. This food sucks. Fuck! Uh, no, madam, I understand. I know our food isn't as fresh as we'd prefer. It has been a long time since we've had a customer. Well, if we're being honest... This isn't what we ordered. You see, I had a chocolate tart, for instance, but what was given to me seems to just be blood. I'm sure it's a delicacy, but, well, it's not chocolate. This is quite embarrassing. I'm sorry, Mom. I'll take these back to the kitchen right now, and we'll have a little chat with our chef. I hope the chef doesn't get in trouble. I think the chef should get in trouble. Oh, we shouldn't have caused a scene. Oh, if only we had just eaten all of that blood. We should check with the chef. 
Make sure his feelings aren't hurt. Whatever. Well, <laughs> that was... By the way, that's one of my favorite scenes where it's like, so I ordered the chocolate tart, but it seems that this is just a pool of blood. And he's like, oh my, this is this was quite the mistake. I'm sorry. I love it. Uh... Okay, well, <laughs> this explains a few things and raises more questions. Well, <laughs> the door is locked. <laughs> Alright, uh, 50s style vampire is here. That's a problem. We're going to go to pumpkin mode. I have a feeling the vampire might be weak against magic. Just a feeling. Um, in fact, let's do this. Mana burn. Increased magic attack and defense, but I lose mana every turn. Let's do magical burst. Um, screw it. Reckless charge right out of the gate. And pulverizing light. Wait, master criminal? No. All right. <laughs> pulverizing light. 70 style scrimmages. I'll show you today's special. <laughs> So that is, is, the sunlight was obviously his weak point. Boom, all right. Reckless charge is amazing. It's really powerful, but uh, if Buck is injured, uh, if he's injured past half, he's gonna die when he uses it as a problem. Uh, well, I can just use it again. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I'll just high five him and it'll be fine. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no, that was just on Jimmy. Jimmy, by the way, if he did not use Concentrate, probably would have died there. All right, but now we're both pretty injured. Uh, Buck can just... Well, Buck is, like, low on magic, but yeah. Uh, comforting Smile. Ooh, okay. He just drained some health from uh, Buck and gave it to himself. But because of Reckless Charge, we're kind of destroying him. <laughs> like, I Reckless Charged him twice, which was beautiful. Oh, he's not healing for that much or damaging for that much with that, but... Here, there we go. Did times five what he just got from me. Um, insult's gonna be too slow because this guy's really, really fast. Pulverizing Light is ready once again. I'll show you today... <laughs> I'll show you what today's sexy vampires can do. Or something, I don't... I can never read those fast enough. Trashed. We smashed his face. Better level up from that. Jimmy imagines himself flying through the night sky. Tonight is a haunting night. He is mad and tired. It has been too long since he tasted blood on his lips. A woman walks alone down a poorly lit street. She carries a paper bag filled with groceries. Jimmy swoops in. He lunges for her warm neck. Jimmy ignores the woman's scream as the life fades from her. He doesn't care anymore. His heart is unbeating, cold, black. As his victim slumps to the ground, she drops her bag. A jar of marinara sauce shatters, streaking its thick red contents across the concrete. Jimmy dabs at his mouth with his cape. He notices a storefront window next to him, barely visible in the dim street lamp. He looks at the reflection and sees the street lamp, the limp body of the woman, the turned over bag of groceries, but he doesn't see himself. So he looks deeper. The scene of the window begins to shift. The moon dips below the horizon. The shadows recede. Soon the scene in the window is a golden summer day. The woman is alive there. She's walking down the street hand in hand with her daughter. Jimmy remembers a time when he walked in the sun. His cheeks remember the warmth. He remembers the laughter of childhood. He reaches towards the window, wanting to dip his hand back into that world, but the scene ripples like a disturbance on a pond and vanishes. Jimmy thinks he feels a twinge in his heart, but that can't be. His heart is unbeating, cold, black. 
that world is no longer for him. Jimmy can now turn into a 70s style vampire. As a 70s style vampire, Jimmy can turn into a horrible monstrosity to scare some things. He can also enter mirrors and other reflective surfaces and explore the worlds inside them. So this is the stat um, associated with this ability is magical defense. So we have almost, do we have all of the stats yet? We've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Yeah, that's all of them uh, because you have to include uh, health and magic attack. So yeah, these are all my base forms. Um, what does he got? So his abilities are leech. Um, he just attacks once and heals for that amount, which is what he was using against me when he used bite. Energize. Uh, this is a thing that Jonathan Bearhead, you can give your MP to an ally. I don't, I can't imagine ever giving Jimmy's MP to another ally. Um, wouldn't make that much sense. It made more sense with Jonathan since he didn't have a lot of attack. Barrier is what Turnbuckle was using. You can deflect magic attack. It's counter, but for magic. And then the Black Fountain. 400 magical attack. Two turn cooldown. It's probably the most powerful a magic attack you can have, but the cooldown makes it still it's not as it's not as good as rampage. Um, and then just for this, let me see. This gives you magic defense. Uh, you're going to have a hard time explaining the blood offering to your parents. Uh, this lets you regenerate 10% HP every turn. So, pretty cool. And is there really nothing? There's nothing to equip. Yeah, no, I haven't unlocked any of the. Uh, <laughs> the passive skills. The first one, if I equip it, um, everyone will have it, so. Be good to get one of those. But now I can enter mirrors, so I should be looking for mirrors. Um, a long time ago, after I beat Punch Tanaka, that was one of my first notes. I was like, there's a mirror here, and I've never gone to it, and I really want to know what's in there. A mirror. Hey, it's Hotel at the End of the World. I don't know what to do. This mouse started crying when it saw that doll. I don't have any others in stock, though. Mr. Mouse won't stop crying. Rawr! Oddly enough, turning to a horrible monstrosity didn't help. I never knew what to do with this scene. I don't know if it means anything, but if you can do anything, I didn't figure it out. We'll get a new shipment of toys soon, crazy kids. Yeah, so maybe one. Maybe I should make a note here too. I don't know, but I I always wonder if that's just a random scene or if you can actually do something. Um, there was another mirror up in the clothing shop, if I remember. Yeah, we go into the dressing room and there's a, a dressing room mirror. The stores are closed today. Wait. <laughs> I have something. Something nice. Yours for 2,000. I seem to remember this being a trick. Too bad. If I sell out, I'll probably get just get more. All right. Severed hand. Okay. It's not dumb. It's a furniture item. And it's actually a decent furniture item. And it's part of the spooky set. I'd love to have the spooky set. All right. Well, um, I could now go, there, there's a place I can go, but I really, I'm too curious as to what Punch Tanaka's mirror is, and I have to check it out. I have to. So we're going to go there immediately. And I just, I was gonna use that 2000 to get all those Super Balls or the Mecha Super Ball, and now I can't get it, so. This is Jimmy tries to read the notebook, but the handwriting is illegible. Oh yeah, whatever. All right, let's see. Oh my God. Wasn't expecting all that. Maybe Dee Dee and the guys will respect me more if I catch that kid. Stupid dog. Thinks he can control Punch Tanaka. He can't control Punch Tanaka. Nobody can. 
Who can control the wind? Man, that's deep. I'm going to write that down. Gotta keep in shape. Can't let the petty thugs be led by a scrawny shrimp. I didn't know what to expect. I, I mean, I expected some weird treasure chest. I wasn't expecting this. That's right, kid. Try all you want. You can't break this perfect form. These t are on me. Get away. Say, shake you. Hey, kid. You're interrupting a tender moment of introspection here, so cram it. Hey, you made me screw up my sweet drawing. Good thing Punch Tanaka is patient. Yeah, that's all right. That's all that was. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's, let's move on. I think that was worth it. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe there's more I can do there later. I can't imagine what that would be, though. And in the meantime... Was it a severed hand or a severed head? Either way, I would like increased luck, please. Yeah, better than increased magic attack. Yeah, it's a severed hand. <laughs> we'll just leave that there. It's fine. Alright, there is one surface that we have not gazed into. So let's do it. Jonathan Bear's Playtime Forest. I really love the way he does the songs in this game, because he has every syllable have a different note, and then you can sing it along in your head. I'm not confident enough to sing it out loud, though I think I would ruin it. <laughs> so. We appear to be on the set of Jonathan Bear. Okay. Fair. We've got Jennifer Skunk. Thomas Porcupine, and Molly Raccoon. I don't think, um, this is a pretty long air. Oh my god, I can steal $15. For <laughs> Give me your lunch money, you punk. You have $10. Oh, and you have a raccoon bin from the fuzzy set. We want that. <laughs> Thomas Porcupine giggles. Has some good damage. Oh, Buck is double attacked. Probably want to use magic when I'm this character, though. Now let's just leech. <laughs> I'll leech ya. Reckless charge might be overkill for uh, guys that haven't even attacked us. I'm terribly sorry about my prickly pins. Holy raccoon giggles. <laughs> and then I just sink my fangs into the neck of a porcupine, as you do. As you do. It's such a weird noise in this song, like the do 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 No. Thought that was a door. Alright, second opportunity to steal things. Let's try Black Fountain, though. 400% magical damage, sounds like something nice. Try to steal that raccoon bin again. We have a one in two chance. There we go. Don't need to worry about that anymore. Huh. Like, that was times four magic attack, really? <laughs> Did 75 damage, but I have normally done, like, what, 25 damage? Uh, even less than that, 20 damage? Uh, I guess, I don't know how much um, Vampire enhances your magical attack, and to be fair, I'm not using a magical weapon, would, both of which would help, but I was expecting more damage than that, I gotta say. Okay, we got we got a new friend. Um, at this point, though, 
anything, I'd rather be the pumpkin. So I can do some multi-attack stuff. There we go. That's where it's at. And I do really like that I can use Master Criminal to, like, search people's pockets without turning into the punk. Ooh, he's got $20. That's actually worth stealing. Yoink. <laughs> there we go. And so he's bear-hugged me. Um, that means that I can't move unless he's stunned or killed. I know I know other people have uh, used something similar. It's the status called Grath. So he got stunned, he let Buck go. Otherwise, Buck just would not have been able to move. Done. There we go. And I guess we've reached the edge of the set. The extremely long set. Okay. Just the, uh, the pals again. Now it looks like we're in the real woods. Oh my. It's turned a little bit sinister, has it not? <laughs> oh, you guys don't have any lunch money. Well, that's lame. We'll light him up with some daylight. Okay, I thought the hug monkey was gonna hug, but apparently not. Um, combust. That should kill the hug monkey. Boom. Okay. <laughs> They're doing more damage now. And is this... Which way is the way I'm supposed to go? Because I didn't want to go that way. Yeah, I'm going to turn back. I bet the other place has a treasure chest. Elga is now level 18, and we leveled up that thingy. Excellent. All right, this way. And Jimmy is now level 18. There we go, I knew it. Box is filled with love, hit points recovered, and there's a compact mirror. That is for magic defense. Okay. It is the normal, like, this gives you a five to something magic defense. What is tinfoil? Reinforces your skin to dramatically increase your armor. Oh, that's just, hmm. I don't think anyone needs the compact mirror right now. We're just going to leave that in there. And I'm back where I was before I turned back. And horrors! Okay, <laughs> we now have uh, Molly Raccoon. Hug Monkey, who is... Uh, holding his own severed head, and Jennifer Skunk, who... I mean, I don't even know what's happening with Jennifer Skunk. I think it's best that we don't, though. <laughs> All right, same attack as before. Let's try to murder the hug monkey. In fact, I'm more scared of the hug monkey than anyone else. Because <laughs> he ripped off his own head. You have a toilet. Hasn't been cleaned since the 70s. Part of the gross set. I'll take it. I mean, hopefully. Nope. <laughs> She's really holding on to her toilet. These guys are absorbing a lot more damage than before. Hug Monkey grabbed me. I was really hoping to stop that. Terrible miasma sweeps across the land. Everything is horror. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, God. Helga's dead. All right. At least we got that. Miasma coming again. Um, Mana burn! And then combust. Buck, heal me, please. Oh, no. I might have to leave. Maybe not. There's the miasma again. Buck, we gotta take this guy out right now. Ooh. I need a big one here, Buck. There we go. I don't think she's gonna do anything if she's just gonna keep on miasma-ing me. That's not that big of a threat. Good. Um, Buck is now level 18. Here's the deal. I happen to know that this is going to take a bit longer, and I'm already running up on like 40 minutes. I think with editing, I can get it down a bit, but not that much. So I think I'm going to end it here. You see what's happening, though? It's getting more and more horrifying, and I'm sure it's going to culminate with something calming, peaceful, and Helga will finally get that chocolate tart. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to my patrons. Remember to do your best. 
I certainly will be trying as I fight psychotic children's mascots. Later.